Hello, my name is Brian. I'm back today. Today you're going to see how you can uh, fix uh, this problem of uh, you can't use PayPal anymore when uh, unfortunately PayPal has suspended your account. Uh, it's something terrible, uh, it's something no one wants to see. Yeah, now this is a, uh, an account of my friend, uh, it's called Joseph, uh, recently got uh, suspended from PayPal. I always advise someone to try to figure out what was the cause of the, uh, the, restri the, the restriction. Sometimes it's uh, PayPal systems uh, suspending your account by mistake. Um, Sometimes they just, uh, you know, PayPal sometimes, you know, sometimes sucks, you know, uh, suspends your account even if you've been legit for, you know, many years, you know. Yeah, but sometimes there are reasons why your account gets suspended and uh, people don't know actually why their account gets suspended, but sometimes those, those uh, points are clear. For Joseph, for Joseph's, for Joseph's case, uh, his uh, reasons were, Recently, when he created an account, he was asked for proof of address uh, when he created his account. He was asked for proof of address. That was uh, a week ago. Uh, I think not a week ago, but like something like eight days, but it kind of delayed to present proof of address. For that reason, unfortunately, PayPal on the, I think on the, Eighth day, uh, you wake up. You woke up in the morning, having this message that his account has been suspended. Okay, so in this scenario, um, I usually advise people to try to check the email which came, which was asking for, which was asking for proof of address. You upload the proof of address. Then actually, the good news is after one or two days after approving that proof of address, your account usually will be removed from the restriction. Okay, so we're going to see if they have suspended you of the O. Uh, if you want to withdraw for money from a limited or suspended paper account, what do you do? What are the options? Okay, option number one is uh, present. Details asked by PayPal. Okay. So in this case um, of Joseph's account, the details was proof of the address. And I wish you, uh, I, I ask for you to subscribe on my on my YouTube such that uh, when 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 we are giving a report of uh, this account being unsuspended, you can get a notification. Because Joseph is going to offer that um, proof of address like tomorrow, and um, you miss out when his account. When I'm, I'm uploading a video showing how his account was uh, was cleared, you know, I've, there, I've done this like for over like fifty people. Uh, like ninety five percent of them get uh, get good news; they are reactivated. So kindly get time and subscribe on our YouTube channel, okay? Um, so solution number one, present details asked by paper. If it's proof of the address, you compile a proof of the address, then you submit. If it's uh, um, proof of uh, shipment, try to come up with a document. And on our website, we offer templates that you can use for proof of the address, of, um, um, proof of shipment, the documents you, which you can just compile and upload online, and in good news, uh, your account can be activated. Okay, so first thing, present details asked by PayPal. Option number two is you can refund, can fund the money back if it's still on hold. This is another option. If your money was sent and is still on hold, but this one is on PayPal balance. But if it's on hold, what you do, you go on activity or transactions. Because this money is going to be frozen for the next 180 days, that is 
that is six months, that is one, that is half a year. So instead of waiting for half a year, you can, you can, you can instead just uh, refund the payment, okay? You can just refund the payment instead of waiting under than eight days, all right? So that's another option, but that option works when this money was sent and is on your PayPal hold. Money which is on PayPal hold can be refunded back even if your account is suspended or limited. Okay, although some limitation they may refuse to refund, but in this case, if it's suspended permanently and that money is still on hold, you can refund back that money. Unfortunately for Joseph, this money was on hold for over two days. In two days, you will have refunded this money and maybe the sender will have used another account or send it another way. But uh, unfortunately, we waited a lot of time. And by the time you send it to me, this money has moved into the PayPal balance. So if you have this money on your, on your hold, you can easily go to the payment of this money, then you refund back that money, okay? Yeah, so that's another option. Uh, so option number three, um, so the refund option is uh, you want to refund money back, then tell the guy, tell the seller, you know what? My account has a problem, but you can send to another account or you can send another way or you sort yourself out, okay? Instead of waiting for six months or 180 days. Another option, is uh, uh, if your money is on a variable balance, like here, you can't refund, you don't have an option for refund, you can instead request the sender to request a refund. So the sender of this money has an option to go to this payment, and he can request, he can request for a refund of his money. PayPal will have to refund the money to the sender because the sender has asked for a refund. The reason your money is put in six months or 180 days is because sometimes when they, if uh, if the sender requests that money and they have permanently uh, chased you and you have resumed the money, then the sender requests the money. There's no way they can find you because they close your account. So they close your account for six months or 180 days, such that when someone requests a refund, they, it can be sorted out. Okay. So this is the time to tell the sender, hey, uh, you go on the payment, the request for a payment, so that PayPal can send this money back to you. So that is another option, okay? Uh, option number uh, option number four, um, you can you can call PayPal support line. Okay, so PayPal has a number you can contact them, okay? Uh, you can contact them, um, but I advise to call. When you call, actually, I've had like five scenarios of someone calling directly to PayPal support and PayPal picking up and PayPal actually apologizing for the account being restricted by mistake and the account is activated right away. So I advise you to get time and get the, uh, the telephone number for uh, PayPal and you call them, okay? You can Google it. You can Google PayPal uh, support uh, line. In case you fail to get it, you can comment. We can find it out for you, okay? And we can test, we can test it out. But I think you can just Google like PayPal support. You can just say, you can just Google PayPal PayPal support line, you know, it's not really something which will uh, give you a problem. Uh, I see some numbers, uh, I think here yeah, something like that. Uh, it's something which you can do, uh, then, uh, then you call them, okay? But in case you fail to get the number, uh, because in this video, uh, it's not about getting the number, but you can leave me a comment, then I can find it out for you, all right? 
So that is option number four. Uh, option number uh, five, uh, option, option number five is uh, you can, if all have, have failed, option number one, you have tried to, you have presented the details by us by PayPal and PayPal has refused, you know, to remove your account from restriction. Then uh, maybe option number two doesn't work, your money is not on hold, you can't refund. And this option is not available. Also number three, maybe the sender, uh, uh, maybe he has failed to request a refund or you are out of contact with him. And uh, also if number four, maybe you have called them and they have failed. So if all those options have failed, the last one is to wait for eight days, okay? This will be option number five. Wait 180 days, and then you will write PayPal via message center. Okay, this is the last result when everything has failed. You know what? They have locked your money. You know it's it's terrible. Uh, the last scenario is uncontracted wait 180 days, that is half a month. You come to um, you come to you come to message center. Message center is under, I think, help here. Uh, let me first go back to the home. Okay. We have message center is under your account name. So there is message center, okay? So this is after like 180 days, everything has failed. You go to message center. I prefer if this is done on a computer because on a phone, it's a different, uh, it's a different um, scenario, okay? Sometimes you may not be able to see these menus quickly, I wish you can use a computer, you can easily see a message center under the name, but on a phone, sometimes it may be a different story because you have a mobile view. So in message center, you just have to compose a new message, uh, select option, um, having account limitations, okay, um, account limitations, uh, check the status, You can just continue. Then you write your message here. It can be like, hey, PayPal. Um, it, actually, before you write this message, after 180 days, PayPal will send you an email to your, uh, to your email. Like, hey, uh, your money is available, something like that. You can withdraw your money, something like that. There's a message each paper sent. sent. So from that message, you tell them, hi, paper, I received uh, email telling me, uh, telling me, uh, spelling, yeah. Hi, paper, I received, I received, I received email telling me, and now withdraw my money, okay? Kindly activate, uh, kindly act, uh, uh, activate, uh, kindly lift off uh, sending restriction. I can uh, pull out my money or oh, whatever, you know, you can write better English than me, okay? <laughs> so hi, PayPal, receive my email telling me that I can now withdraw my PayPal, my money, kindly lift up sending restrictions so that I can pull out my money. 
So when they remove, when they receive this message, usually one or two days, they will remove the restriction on paying. So you can pay that money to someone else to withdraw that money for you. Because uh, remember, sometimes some people have put wrong details about the bank, you know, something like that. Sometimes you don't have a bank there. So the easier thing is to send this money to someone else, or you can buy stuff with it instead of leaving it in the PayPal. So that is another way. So this is how, this is the last result. Uh, after 180 days, you can just send PayPal such a message. They activate the sending, the removal of the restriction on sending. So you send this money to someone else, then your account will be activated. But this, um, I can't send this because this account is just, uh, it has been just restricted like last week. So we're, we're just going to try to submit the details that they asked area. So I'm going to follow these options. As I've told you, option number one, I'm going to first answer the details which they asked us. If it fails, we're going to try to refund the money, but this is not possible because the money is on variable. So we can try this. If we fail, we shall request the sender to, to request a refund. Or I can first call PayPal. If they can't help, I can go to number three. If all fails, I'll just have to wait 180 days. Thank you for watching. Can you get time and subscribe on our YouTube channel to check out new videos which are going to come out, um, how to offer, how to uh, prove address, how to create an account which can, without a bank account, without a phone number, you know? Yeah, so we appreciate if you give me a subscription. Have a nice day and bye-bye.